And welcome back. Well, we're going to start today programming our robots so that they can move through our obstacle courses that we have. Many of you think that it begins with programming the actual robot itself, but indeed we have to go online to the program and program it through that, then sync it to our robot for it to work. So let's get started. Each pack contains a USB cord and the robot itself. You'll need both of these in order to sync your robot with the laptop that you will have in class. Notice on the back of your robot there are four ports. The first one is the sync port. You'll put the USB cord in this to sync it to your computer. Then there's port C, B, and A. On the flip side of your robot, you'll notice that we are going to be using ports B and C. That's very important because when we get into the program, you'll want to make sure that you're using the proper ports in your program. We are going to be using the Mindstorm program. The program should be located on your dock on your laptop. Once you launch it, you will see this page. You can get started right away or view software videos to see how it's done. First things first, we need to go ahead and name our program. This one is called Test. I would recommend that you name it something unique so that when you want to pull it up again, you can find it easily. Now let's start programming. You're going to drag a cog down to your workspace. Notice at the top right hand corner, it says C and B. Those are the ports we're going to use. Make sure that they are in C and B. Down towards the bottom of your screen, you'll notice that this is where we give it directions. This is telling the cog that we want to go forward one rotation. You can make changes so that you can make it stop, turn, and do all different types of things in this area. From time to time, it's a good idea to sync your robot to your laptop. So plug it in and this screen will appear. Press this button to sync it. You'll need a different cog for each direction you want it to go in. You'll also want to make sure that there is a stop cog in between each direction so that the robot can stop, then change the direction that you want it to go into. Also test the bottom where it says rotation. How many rotations does it take for you to go a certain distance? You'll need to make that proper measurement. And also, if you want to make a bigger swing of your robot, you'll also need to make sure you make the adjustments to the rotation. Back to our robot now. Hey, if I want to go ahead and have the robot turn left, then I want to tell my program to concentrate on the C port. If I want it to go right, then I'm going to tell my program to go towards the B port. That's very important. Back to our program, see how the C is highlighted in our cog? That tells the robot that you want to go to the left. Make sure that only the C is highlighted in the bottom area as well. One last thing to do, sync it up and give it a go. Good luck, Cougars!